Hey class. Uh, I hope everyone's doing all right today. We are back today with uh, the causes of the American Revolution, the Stamp Act. The Stamp Act was the first tax after the French and Indian War that Britain placed on the colonists. And the colonists eventually got it repealed because they protested and protested. And uh, they didn't like it. The, the Stamp Act was a, uh, it was a tax on on different things that like paper wise that, that they had to place this stamp on and they had to make sure they had paid and uh the cons did not like it at all and and understandably so so uh but that's what we're talking about today is the, the stamp act uh, it was a tax put on the american colonies by the british in 1765 and it said they had to pay a tax on all sorts of printed materials such as newspapers magazines legal documents and uh, it was called the Stamp Act because the colonies were supposed to buy paper from Britain that had an official stamp on it that showed they had paid this tax. So uh, that was the first thing that they taxed. And like I said, the, the, colony, the colonists eventually got it repealed, but it was just the first in a long line of taxes that Britain placed on them. What was the Stamp Act? The Stamp Act was a tax put on the American colonies by the British in 1765. It said they had to pay a tax on all sorts of printed materials such as newspapers, magazines, and legal documents. It was called the Stamp Act because the colonies were supposed to buy paper from Britain that had an official stamp on it that showed they had paid the tax. All right. So, like I said, the French and Indian War was fought between the British, British and, and British American colonies and the French, and the American colonies eventually won this war, all right, but, but only with the help of the British Army. And the British government felt, hey, you know, this cost us $140 million in today's money, all right? So they felt, hey, the colonies should share in the expense of this war. I mean, it's not gonna, they're not going to get upset about this because, you know, we, we were doing this so they could have more land. So, you know, but as you'll see, they did get upset about it. Paying for the war. The French and Indian War was fought between the British American colonies and the French who had allied with the American Indians. It lasted from 1754 to 1763. The American colonies eventually won the war, but only, but only with the help of the British Army. The British government felt that the colonies should share in the expense of the war. And, and they also, you know, they stationed troops in the, the colonies afterwards, too, so to make sure everything was all right. So the, these British troops cost money. So the Stamp Act of 1765 was a tax to, to help the British pay for the French and Indian War, and they felt, hey, it's well justified in charging this tax because the colonies were receiving the benefit of the British troops being there, and uh, and the colonies should help pay for these taxes. But the colonists did not feel the same. Like I said, nobody nobody likes taxes. Mr. Sean don't like taxes. Your teachers don't like taxes. Nobody likes taxes. Okay, we work hard for our money. We want to keep our money. That's the way, and that's the way the colonists felt too taxes on colonists and to help pay for the British troops in the Americas the Stamp Act of 1765 was a tax to help the British pay for the French and Indian War. The British felt they were well justified in charging this tax because the colonies were receiving the benefit of the British troops and they needed to help pay for the expense. The colonists didn't feel the same. Alright. The incomes no taxation without representation. They felt the British government had no right to tax them. You know, they'd been governing themselves for over a hundred years without the the British even even you know getting into anything with them. So, you know, they they also didn't have a representative of the colonies in British Parliament or the British government, and the colonies had no say in how much taxes should be or what they should pay for, and they just didn't think this was fair. So uh, they call this taxation without representation. And their motto became no taxation without representation. No taxation without representation. The colonists felt that the British government had no right to tax them because there were not any representatives in the colonies in British Parliament. The colonies had no say in how much taxes should be or what they should pay for. They didn't think this was fair. They called this taxation without representation. So. The American colony felt so strongly against the Stamp Act that they called a meeting, a meeting that it was called the Stamp Act Congress. Representatives from, 
from the colonies gathered together in New York City for about a month in October of 1765, and they prepared, prepared a unified protest of the Stamp Act to Britain. So they, they, they did a thing called the Stamp Act Congress. Remember that, I think it's on the questions. The Stamp Act Congress. The American colonies felt so strongly against the Stamp Act, they called a meeting of all the colonies. It was called the Stamp Act Congress. Representatives from the colonies gathered together in New York City from October 7th to October 25th in 1765. They prepared a unified protest of the Stamp Act to Britain. All right. The Sons of Liberty, I said they play a big role in the causes of the American Revolution. So it was during this time, the groups of the American Patriots called the Sons of Liberty began to form, all right? They took the protest of the British taxes to the streets. They used intimidation, all right, to get tax collectors to resign from their jobs. Say, tax collector walking along, doing his job, and they'd come up to him and say, hey, you know, you better get out of here. You better get out of here. What? You know, get out of, <laughs> get out of here. And they used intimidation. And a lot of times these tax collectors were so scared of them that they would quit their job. So, uh, and, and like I said, the Sons of Liberty, they played a big, big role during the American Revolution and leading up to the American Revolution. The Sons of Liberty. It was during this time that groups of American patriots called the Sons of Liberty began to form. They took the protests of the British taxes to the streets. They used intimidation to get tax collectors to resign from their jobs. The Sons of Liberty would play an important role later during the American Revolution. All right. So eventually the protests of the colonies to the Stamp Act began to hurt British merchants and businesses. And the Stamp Act, like I said, it got repealed, which means they did away with it on March 18th, 1766. But that same day, the British Parliament wanted to send a message to the colonies. They said, hey, we can tax y'all whenever we want to. So, uh, but they felt, and they felt they had the right to tax these colonists anytime they wanted to. So the same day they repealed the Stamp Act, they passed the Declaratory Act, which stated that the British Parliament had the right to make laws and taxes in the colonies. Stamp Act repealed. Eventually, the protests of the colonies to the Stamp Act began to hurt British merchants and businesses. The Stamp Act was repealed on March 18, 1766. However, the British Parliament wanted to send a message to the colonies. The Stamp Act may not have been a good way to tax the colonies, but they still felt they had a right to tax the colonies. The same day they repealed the Stamp Act, they passed a Declaratory Act, which stated that the British Parliament had the right to make laws and taxes in the colonies. Like I said, the Stamp Act was just the beginning of all these taxes. All right, comprehend your question. What was the Stamp Act? Was it A, was it taxes on colonists, newspapers, magazines, you know, uh, paper materials? Uh, was it B, a tax on Mr. Sean, or C, was it a Metacomet tax? It was A, a, a uh, tax on newspapers and magazines. I'm going to tell you, what war prompted the Stamp Act? Was it A, the French and Indian War, B, the Puritan War, or C, the Great Swamp Fight? It was A, the French and Indian War. I don't have my, my sounds in here, y'all. I've got to go put those in here. So it was the French and Indian War. So what was the colonists' tax motto? Was it A, we are one? B, no taxation without representation, or C, B, all you can be, it was B, no taxation without representation because they did not have anyone from the colonies over in British Parliament. They didn't have anyone from the colonies, and they felt, hey, this ain't fair because we don't have anyone there for us to, to uh, help us out with this. We, we don't have any say, so, so it was B, no taxation without representation. Number four, what was the group called that started the unified protest? Was it A, William Penn's Merry Men, B, the Stamp Act Congress, or C, Boston, the Boston Massacre? It was B, the Stamp Act Congress. They brought together, all the colonies came together, got together for about a month or so in October, and they decided, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna prepare a unified protest against, against the Stamp Act. About, so it was the Stamp Act Congress is what it was called, B. Number five, what group used intimidation to stop taxes? Was it A, Mr. Sean, B, the Sons of Liberty, or C, Connor's Crew? All right, 
it was it was B, the Sons of Liberty. They would go up and they would see these tax collectors in the streets and stuff, and they'd go up and intimidate them and tell them basically, hey, you better get out of here because if you don't get out of here, we're going to do something bad to you. And they, they the tax collectors were fearful for, fearful for their lives. So the Sons of Liberty. And number six, what happened to the Stamp Act? After, at the end of it all, what happened to the Stamp Act? A, it got repealed, which means the British did away with it. B, it's still around today, or C, Mr. Sean has it. So it's A, it got repealed. The British did away with the Stamp Act, but it was just the beginning of taxes and laws that they placed on these colonies. So it was repealed, A. And that is it for today. Uh, we'll be back next time. We will be talking about the Sons of Liberty and Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams played a very important role. He's the one that founded the Sons of Liberty. And uh, I will see you all next time. Be sure to go on Schoology and go through this, get credit for it. And I will see you next time. You all have a very good day.